What's happening guys? This is going to be one of the hardest how-to videos I've ever done, so you better pay attention. Actually, now that I think about it, changing your coolant's pretty easy but there's always a few things to keep in mind. So there's a variety of reasons why you need to be changing out your coolant. The first being just wear and tear. I'd say 40 or 50 hours is a pretty good number to change out your coolant. And if you're going to a higher quality coolant, I'd recommend using engine ice. This is the same stuff I've been using for years now, and I've had really good luck with it. The first step is to remove the radiator cap. And of course, you never want to do this when the bike is hot. Taking the cap off just allows the coolant to flow out much easier. The drain bolt is the one with the copper washer behind it, as shown in this picture. We're going to remove that now. You better get your drain pan ready, because it's about to get messy. As soon as you pull that bolt out, the coolant will just come gushing out. Once the majority of the coolant has drained out, give the Kickstarter a few kicks to free up any possible air bubbles. And then you can tilt the bike to the side to drain out any remaining coolant. That's it for draining the coolant, so just dispose of it safely, and then you can reinstall the drain bolt. While we're on the subject of coolant, there's a hole beneath the water pump cover that you should inspect. Make sure it's not blocked with any dirt, and if you see any coolant coming out, that indicates a bad water pump seal. And if there's any oil coming out, that means you'll have to replace the transmission oil seal. As you're filling up the radiator with coolant, keep an eye on the level. Sometimes an air bubble will cause the radiator to overfill. Once you fill the radiator completely, give the Kickstarter a few more kicks to free up any possible air bubbles, and then top off the radiator fully. Now you're ready to twist some grip once you've got that radiator cap reinstalled. After your first ride, check the level again to make sure it's still topped off. As always, really appreciate you guys watching the video, giving that big old thumbs up, and leaving some good comments and questions down below. So from here on out, I'll be doing at least one video per week. And so don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. See ya.